All right, guys, hope you're doing well. Oh, I think I got him. Did I get him? Yeah, I think I did. Uh, busy day today. I'm off to get an oil change. Uh, I think I've got an oil leak, not sure, but yeah, oil change is all I want. I've got my daughter coming, uh, meeting at the bus station. We're going to head off to Maysot, check out some great antique places, and uh, no doubt she's going to spend some money. And then later on, Bob's got something to show you guys. And uh, yeah, phrase of the day, a news update. See you in a bit. So we're at Mazda. Now, yeah, it can be a bit of a lottery. It could be 2,000 baht or 20,000 baht, but I only want them to do an oil change. We'll see how it goes. I might be tucking into these. Depends how high the bill is. <laughs> Look at that. It's a shame there aren't any Leos in there. I've been lurking behind this board, checking that they've been doing it correctly. No, they're good here. Really nice people. Always get a good job done. One hour later. Right, all finished. It's just over 50 pounds, and we have to sign about 30 pieces of paper. Don Senor. Sort hand after that. Main mod, yang main mod, okay. Cup. Okay, it's a filter, no? Cup. Okay, cup, come on, a cup, cup. You alright, darling? The tongue will lie. Me Google back, mate. Yeah, man. A man, sip Okay, alright, love you. Alright, so what we got here? We got the oil. We got a gasket drain plug, Mazda brake fluid, which is probably a good idea seeing as we're going over the mountains. I don't know what the end bit is, but yeah, 2,114. I mean, it's uh, actually yeah, just over 50 pounds. So yeah, you probably pay that for half an hour's labor back in the UK. There she is on time. So where are you taking me today? Robinson's. Robinson's? Am I gonna have to spend a lot of money? Yeah. Oh dear. All right, off to Maysot. Lovely and cool. Stretch your legs. Roads are a bit windy. Pretty stunning. I think May Salt is over there somewhere. I don't want to end up down there, that's for sure. A bit dodgy. The planks are a little bit loose under my the feet. There's the road there, heading off. And the Burmese army used to traverse these mountains. Uh, they were in retreat from the Siamese army, I think, in one of the wars on their way back to Martaban and uh, probably pass through where we're standing now. You want a grotty hot dog? Okay, all right, let's get going then. We've got another, we've got another 60 Ks to go. Furniture or antique area is usually heaving, but yeah, maybe because the board is closed. It's all closed up. There's some beautiful things in here, but might have to come back another time unless there's something down here. Wow, here we go. It's an old gramophone. This is what Spotify used to look like. Like this, it used to be like this. It's how you play music. You turn the handle. They've even got an old, old record on it. Tell Dai Cup. Moon Song, so 12,000. So that's for 300 pounds. 
Maypang, not expensive. Not expensive for something made in 1915. And he might take potato, no? Okay. That's in perfect condition. I really like that. It really is like going back a hundred years when you come in a place like this. Land so why, no? Chu land a lot. Chu chu. Siam antique. Okay. Siam antique. Siam antique. So yeah, if you're coming down to the border, check out this shop. It's quite fantastic. Carving something here. Wow. Beautiful uh, carvings. Look at that old telephone. It's fantastic. Oh, and you can actually use it. Really? And it okay, no? Tai Dai. Tai Dai, no? And it C pan bed, me ping, four thousand eight hundred. San pan bed, so it's not that expensive, three thousand eight hundred. I think the other one in the other shop was shinier, wasn't it? Mm. A nice little decoration from yesteryear. Mm. Kendo, is it Kendo? Mm. I think it's someone who's very small though. That's not going to fit. That's C three PO, isn't it? C-3PO from Star Wars in a kendo outfit. Things you find. All right, let's head to Robinson. So yeah, if you find yourself down by Limoy Market, which is near the border, head into the back streets just behind the market. And those little antique shops are just at the end of the street. And they're little Aladdin's caves. Finished yet? Nibia. Nibia's a good one, isn't it? Is it a cleanser? They just make up all these names to sell them to you, don't they? What's this one? Mixolair Oxygen Acme. Boost. Acme. What on earth does that mean? Everything is whining. <laughs> well, just get anyone that's good. I'm losing the will. Two thousand years later. Okay, we finally found one. All right, okay. <laughs> you happy? This is the most expensive one. Oh, it's lucky I love you, isn't it? Tellies. I see t-shirts, I see shirts, I see t-shirts. Why do they put these outside the gadget rooms? Because, yeah, the, you're just going to want to stop here now, aren't you? They're rather nice, aren't they? So she's going to try on this cherry dress. There's a lot of cherries on it, but she likes it, so that's all that matters. Yeah, they're beautiful. Beautiful, darling. Yeah. You want it? Okay. You happy? All right. Can we go now? Are you going to buy me something now? What about this? It's only 8,000, it's 9,000 baht, come on. No. How much do you love me? These are the guys, that, they should be outside Buckingham Palace. There you go, look at that. The old bear skin on his head as well. Can you make him laugh? Apparently you can't make them laugh. Go on, tickle under his arm. Yeah. Hey. Got one on the other side there. So long, Robinson, may sock. Right, we better head back to Dak. Big thunderstorm on its way. Get back over the mountains. Two hours later. Just still feels so good. Oh yeah. Well, dropped Annie off at one of our old school friends. Haven't been here for a while. I've been in Pisnalo, so it's a bit of a mess, the garden. And these trees need cutting back or pruning. This big one here, it usually has a big orange flower, is getting out of control. Yeah, six months of the year trying to keep things alive, and the other six keep me under control. It's uh, real extremes here, but as I promised, Bob has something to share with you. And he's been quite excited about this, actually. Uh, but uh, yeah, here we go.
There we are, look at that. He's in flower. So I would say he's about 50% back to what he once was. So if you remember that he did actually used to look like this. He's come a pretty long way. Well done, Bob. But yeah, the Bougainvillian age cutting back again. The grass is getting out of control. I'll have to get, get cracking on this, but we've had so much rain. It's either too much or not enough, to be honest. I haven't had a chance to do it. So uh, if it stays dry, I might get cracking on it this evening. Anyway, there you go, one last look. Okay, welcome to Fraser Day, back after a little break, and yes, today I, I do speak Thai with Annie occasionally, and uh, just keeps me in practice, so you might have heard me say this. Jatung Mu Lai. Jatung Mu Lai, is that correct? Jatung Mu Lai. Ja is going to, we've seen this word before with the Ja Bai Nai, it's the future tense uh, of something that's going to happen. Tung is arrive, and Mu Lai is when. Now Annie's response was, Baman sip na Baman. Sip na So Baman is about. Sip is ten. You'll have to get in the woodshed and learn your numbers. And na is minutes. So yeah, I often use this when uh, I'm waiting for Annie or her mum to come on the bus. Uh, yeah, to turn me lie. So I know when to arrive at the bus station. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys can use it too. So echoing the feelings of most of us here, the Deputy Governor of the TAT believes borders would very unlikely reopen for tourists until 2021. He stated the government is being super cautious since new outbreaks have occurred around the world. As I said before, I personally think things won't revert to some type of normality until a vaccine is found. So with the TAT now focusing on domestic tourism, the announcement of a four-day holiday between September 4th and 7th will hopefully boost tourism revenue by as much as 20%. The holiday is a replacement for the cancelled Songkran Festival. Now, trying to tap into that domestic tourism market, Pattaya is spending 160 million baht to improve the city's beaches. The project, running from North Pattaya to Walking Street, will see improvement to walkways, gardens, and toilet and parking facilities. Okay, just like to say thank you to all the great comments in the Building a House in Thailand episodes. Uh, there were a few saying, yeah, you shouldn't build a house here, but I will direct you to a channel called Bad Badger Retired in Thailand. Now, this guy is a great guy. Uh, from the UK and he's not married to a Thai national. He's built his own house uh, with his lovely wife uh, Lovely swimming pool. He's just built a tiki bar uh, So if you want to find out how he did it head over to his channel subscribe and yeah, it is possible Also some great comments from other youtubers who've been through the building process namely David from that foreign bloke and Harry Harry and who are and yeah Superstitions yeah one I overlooked. I do have friends who've had come across problems uh, because their partners are very superstitious. It can affect the date you build. It can affect things like how many stairs you put in. It can affect placement of windows and doors and positioning of the house. Uh, so yeah, you need to check with your partner, especially if they're superstitious, uh, to make sure that you don't come into problems further down the line. And on that note, I say uh, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you in the next video.